It's teardown time with the 400 lumen IKEA Riot. This 99 cent bulb, I'm super curious to know what's inside of it. So let's get on with it. Uh, it's three parts, the, uh, the bulb, the body, and the uh, socket. Connector that goes in the socket actually. So I'll probably have to separate all three of them. So let's start uh, prying. So let's see. If we can find a, a, a place where I can stick in my screwdriver. No, it's not cooperating. Um, well, after some prying, I think I got it. So, it looks like... Wow, it's actually uh, glued on really well. So this is, of course, it's, uh, it's all plastic. Uh, probably no metal inside it. There we go, and we're in. Wow, that took some. Uh, that definitely took some prying. Um, very simple construction, actually. Just five LEDs, so probably five one watt units. Uh, you can see they are a bit on the brown side, so that tells you that they are uh, warm white. Um, there is actually a connector here, not uh, not wires. Uh, I've actually seen this before in uh, IKEA bulbs, and uh, that's actually fairly smart. So that makes the um, teardown process a bit uh, bit easier. So we can start by removing uh, these two screws, which actually I actually think they got some. Uh, I'm not using the right screwdriver, probably. So, well, they're actually fairly long. They probably bolt uh, into the heat sink. I think, actually, I hope, if there is one, because maybe there is actually no no heat sink at all. Um, the, the LEDs are on, uh, yeah, are on a metal PCB, and the tracks uh, seem to be uh, fairly thick, and they're all copper, so um, that's actually pretty good. Let's see if we can pry it off. Um, this is definitely not uh, teardown friendly, so I think that they used adhesive more than uh, thermal paste, but it's actually coming off. There we go. So as you can see, it's uh, it's metal on the bottom. So there is no heat sink, um, as expected. And this is the um, power supply. Very simple, uh, of course, single layer, um, nice slot so it doesn't flap around. Can try and extract it. Just pick up a pair of pliers. Oh, nice! Um, it's not soldered to the uh, connector inside. Again, typical of uh, IKEA. So it's actually using this uh, connector device uh, thingy, which is very clever. So that means that uh, I'll probably be able to put this thing uh, back together, hopefully. So. So this nice spring that makes contact. So that's uh, yeah, that's very clever. Um, I like that. So let's discharge the capacitor before moving on. And uh, here's the circuit, which is uh, terribly simple. Terribly simple. Um, the the driver it's uh, it's just a three pin device. So um, yeah, uh, that, that that's it. Uh, of course, ninety nine cents. Um, the capacitor is uh, rated for uh, 105 degrees, so it's uh, just good enough. Uh, it's just barely good enough, actually. Um, 135 would have been a bit better, but uh, then it would be just 99 cents for the capacitor alone. Uh, so it's it probably would be quite easy to reverse engineer because it's just uh, a single sided. So I'll, I'll probably try and do that. Uh, we've got a fuse, uh, fusible resistor actually on the input, uh, along with the bridge rectifier. Uh, that goes to a um, the positive side goes to an inductor with a resistor in parallel. Um, we've got the main uh, out the main switching inductor right here, along with the diode uh, output capacitor is right there. So it looks to be a fairly simple. Um, switch mode uh, driver, yeah. 
So it would be interesting to see which uh, what I see this thing is. So I'll probably uh, try and uh, find uh, if it's uh, yeah, see if it's uh, if there's something written on it. So uh, yeah, I'll take a look online and uh, we'll add it in the description if if I find something. But um, there it is. Very simple. Uh, that, that's amazing that IKEA can can mass market a bulb uh, for just one euro. So let's try and uh, put it back together. So I I don't recall how was it uh, installed. Um, it's probably in like this. Yeah, of course we got slots. So let's try. All right, all right. So it snaps in. That's nice. Then we plug in this, the top part here, there we go, got two screws, there we go, it's uh, back together, so uh, let me just see if I can pop the plastic off, yeah, good enough, so we can just stick this thing back on. Maybe some tape will, will help, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think it can be actually reused. Uh, maybe I, I, could, I could add some glue on it. But uh, yeah, looks like this teardown was uh, non-destructive. So actually, let me uh, pick up a socket and uh, see if this bulb still works. Yeah, it sure does. Amazing. <laughs> It's still working. There it is. This is the 99 cent IKEA Riot. Thanks for watching.